F strings in Python are a feature that allow you to generate strings out of various expressions inside of a string literal. This is the preferred method of string interpolation in Python. What's that? String interpolation involves evaluating a string literal, so that's some text in quotation marks, but which also contains expressions, and those expressions are evaluated and become part of the string. And string interpolation is used whenever you want to build a string that involves some predefined text and also the result of evaluating some expression. You could already do this through string concatenation. For example, if you wanted to write a string with the digits of pi in it, you might add together the string pi starts with, with a string containing the digits of pi and another string with a dot dot dot. And of course you could use the result of this expression inside of a larger expression, for example to print it. String interpolation is an alternative way to generate this string, which is both faster and more concise. Using the f string feature in Python, we call them f strings because there's an f before the quotation mark. What's special about f strings is that they can contain other expressions within curly braces, and those are evaluated. So you write the text you want, and also the expressions you want evaluated and included within the string, and this is a string literal, but has the value of pi, rather than the characters pi, embedded within it. And again, this is just evaluating to a string, and so I could embed it in a larger expression, for example, to print it. The result of evaluating an f-string literal contains the str string of the value of each sub-expression. We'll look at some examples in a moment. And the sub-expressions are evaluated in the current environment, which means that anything you could build with concatenation, you could also build with string interpolation. So here's an f-string. This is just contents, 2 plus 2 equals 2 plus 2 would be evaluated just like a normal string. But if I include curly braces around some part of this, now this is treated as a Python expression and is evaluated and then embedded within the resulting string. You do need the f. If you don't have the f, then you'll just get a regular string which has curly braces in it. An f string can have an arbitrary expression here and it can refer to the current environment so for example, abs is defined. If for some reason I changed what abs meant, now it's the built-in float function, then evaluating the same expression would use the current value of abs. And anything that's a legal Python expression can go in here. If I really wanted to, I could write some complicated lambda and get four that way. There are some detailed restrictions on how to use quotes because you're inside of a string and how to use curly braces. Those are up to you to learn if you want. They're not required content in this course, just because those are very low level details that are specific to Python. But this general notion of a string literal that includes expressions called string interpolation exists in lots of different programming languages. I said that what you get in the result of evaluating an f string expression is the str string of the values of the sub expressions. So if we have an object, half, which has a different str and repr, there's the repr string, there's the str string. What happens when you build an f string? Half of a half is half times half you get the str string, not the repr string. If you really wanted the repr string, you could just call repr on this, and then you'd get it. And evaluation of sub-expressions is just like anywhere else in Python. They may have side effects. So if I have a list, 987, and I build a string, because s.pop, s.pop, s, then these expressions are evaluated in order. This one's a 7, this one's an 8, and all that's left in s now is the number 9. 